Hey YouTube, in this tutorial on GarageBand for iOS devices, we'll be showing you how to use the new inter-app audio feature that was just added with the new GarageBand update. It's very similar to AudioBus if you've ever used that application. Basically what it does is it allows you to bring audio into GarageBand from other audio applications. I'm going to get started using it by adding an instrument. And they added a new icon from within the instrument selection menu here. Um, you can also access it from the sampler, audio recorder, and guitar amp instruments. But I'm going to start off by selecting this new icon here. And this will show you what apps you currently have installed that are compatible with inter-app audio. So right now I currently just have Alchemy Accordion. And for effects, I have um, the amplitude um, guitar effects. There's currently not too many applications that are compatible with it, but I expect that in the future there's going to be much more. So I'm going to be trying to keep my website updated with the currently um, compatible apps. So check there to see which applications are currently compatible. So I'm going to start off by adding the accordion instrument. And you may notice down at the bottom here, there is a set of buttons here that control um, GarageBand. So this is going to be different from app to app, but they basically, most apps will have some kind of um, GarageBand control, I'm imagining. So at the left here, this will bring the um, recording back to the beginning. This will play your recording. I basically just have some basic drums that I recorded in GarageBand. So I'm going to stop this and before you start recording, you want to make sure that your tempo is the same as you have set in GarageBand. So the tempo accordion right now is set at 110 BPM. So let's check the tempo in GarageBand and set at 110 as well. And you also want to make sure that you're going to be playing it within the same key. So I have the key set to E major. And in accordion, I have it set to an E blues scale, which wouldn't necessarily go with E major, but it'll be all right for demonstrating. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording. So I'm going to bring it back to the beginning here and tap on record. And you're going to get a four beat um, metronome intro before it actually starts recording. And then it will stop recording once you reach the number of bars that you set within GarageBand. So I'm going to go back to GarageBand here and you'll see that we actually have um, our recording here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So it looks like it got recorded all right. So I'm going to stop this. So you can access the interapp audio from within the audio recorder instrument menu which is accessed by tapping on this um, icon on the top left corner here. And then you'll see it says interapp audio here. So you can select which instrument you want to use as well as which effect you want to use. So I'm going to load up the amplitude effect. And now when we go back to accordion, you can hear that it's now running through the amplitude effect. So let's go back to GarageBand. Um, so that's going to conclude this tutorial on how to use the new interapp audio. In the next couple tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to use audio bus as well as how to use the sampler. And I'll be showing you how to pull audio in from other apps using the sampler and audio bus as well as interapp audio. So stay tuned for that.